What's up everyone? It's your boy C-Dub. Today we got another video about Polo G's friend, uh, B Money 1300 who was allegedly shot and killed after leaving a birthday party in Chicago. Before we get into the video, everybody please hit that like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on to all if you guys want to see more videos like this one. Another weekend of violence in Chicago has claimed the life of a close associate of rapper Polo G. The rap star's childhood friend B Money 1300 was shot and killed. According to reports, B Money had relocated to Los Angeles to avoid the pitfalls of the street life in the Windy City. He returned home to attend an event, but he was tragically gunned down during his brief time in the city. So, allegedly, this event that B Money had attended was a birthday party, and he was shot outside of the birthday party, I'm guessing. Um, like I said, allegedly, that's not fully confirmed, but, um, man, this, this guy had gotten out of Chicago to avoid the streets, and still, when he came back to visit for a birthday party from Los Angeles, he was still put in the middle of things and still gunned down, so this is something you don't hear about often, usually rappers that get killed in Chicago are ones that never leave. They never uh, try to escape that life, but this guy was trying to escape that life and get away from it and still gunned down um, just visiting family, which is an absolute shame. Um, I tried to do a little digging to find out what was going on with the situation with Polo G and uh, B Money, what kind of gangs they were affiliated with and whatever. And really all I could find was a bunch of people saying that they were Vice Lords, BDs, Mickey Cobra, so it seems like nobody really knows exactly what they are. Um, all we really know, I guess, is that they're always uh, saying GDK and throwing down the pitchforks. GDK being Gangster Disciple Killer. B Money 1300's murder had a big impact on Polo G. He was frequently on stage alongside Polo G, acting as a hype man, and traveled around the world with the rapper. Polo G eulogized his childhood friend in a post on social media. He said, my little brother man on Gucci, I can't see myself doing this stuff without you, broski. I know I'll never meet a dude like you again. One of the realest dudes I ever met in my life. I always made sure I reminded you of that uh, black heart emoji. You was the heart of the hood, you know, how to make a whole room smile and couldn't nobody stay mad around you. You was the very first dude to ever show me support in this stuff when wasn't nobody stunting on this stuff for real. You let me know I could do it and had my back all the way from my first shows, my first videos, and the stuff I first recorded. You was the first to hear this stuff. Stretch all the way to the sandbox though before this rap stuff. We was just rocking stages and hopping off jets broski. Stuff ain't supposed to be like this, you know? I'ma turn up for sure though. I love you broski. Just watch over me broski. I got you man. Man, it's sad to see another Chicago rapper go way too early. It says, uh, this weekend, five people were shot in Chicago and killed, and 40 people were injured. Another bloody weekend ruined by gun violence. It's really such a shame when you got a rapper who moved out of Chicago, went clear out to LA, and comes home and has to face his own demise with gun violence, just visiting for a birthday party or whatever reason he was in town. I mean, at the end of the day, that is what comes along with this kind of lifestyle. Um, like I said, I'm not for sure what set they claim, but I know for sure that they was um, caught up in the street life. We just recently seen uh, drill rapper E-Day get shot up in Chicago. Now that's a little bit different since he never did try to escape Chicago, but still at the same time, when you go back home and you're visiting from out of town, you still got to take all kinds of precautions and be aware of everything around you. I send my condolences out to all of B Money's family and friends. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Until next time.